Hello, hi, this is Dr. Karen Perez with a video comparing the Samoji effect with the Dawn phenomenon. And I know there are about two videos out there that I've spoke about them individually, but in this video, I want to compare and do a side-by-side -side comparison. So just to recap, there are two reasons why a person who has um, diabetes will have blood glucose that is increased in the morning. One is the Samoji effect and the other one is the Dawn phenomenon. So let's take a look, just a recap. In, in order for, in, for glucose to go inside the cell, we need insulin to give it access. Without insulin, the cell will not open, right? So let's look at the Samoji effect. This individual will get their insulin before they go to their bed. With the insulin, the blood glucose drops in around 3 a.m. Now what occurs is that the body recognizes that blood glucose is low. So then the cascade starts by turning the glycogen into glucose. And this is where the liver comes in. So glycogen is then um, transferred into glucose. And then you see the blood sugar rises and is elevated in the morning. With the dawn phenomenon, this person will get their insulin. But not enough insulin to lower the blood glucose. So what you see is that you have the blood sugar increases from midnight to early morning, so you will see a high level of glucose in the blood. So one, they get too much insulin. That is a Samoji effect. The dawn phenomenon, they did not get enough insulin. So here's where you figure, okay, when do I increase the insulin? When do I decrease the insulin? So let's look at this graph from Ambicare. In the dawn phenomenon, the normal morning effect, you will see that there is an increase in growth hormone and a decrease in insulin level. With insulin level decreasing, that means the blood glucose sugar is very high. So what is a treatment? Is to increase the insulin or adjust the timing to improve actual control. Now for the Samoja effect, which is kind of a rebound hypoglycemia, because remember I told you that the insulin lowers the blood glucose and then the body kind of kick in and increase the blood glucose level by turning glycogen into glucose. Now, what is the treatment for this? It is to decrease the medication in the evening. Because because of the hypoglycemia, that's why you have in the early morning, that's why you have the body putting out glucose to increase the level. So you want to decrease the medication. Now, how can you differentiate? Because in the morning, if it's dawn phenomenon, the blood glucose is high. If it is a moji effect, in the morning, around when they wake up, the blood glucose is high. So when can you, how can you differentiate which one it is? To differentiate, you will check the blood glucose sugar, sugar um, in the middle of the night, early in the morning, around 3 a.m. So if it is normal or high, it indicates that it is the dawn phenomenon. But if it is low, it indicates that it's a Samoja effect. So I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please make your comment below. Thank you so much for watching.